What is up America? Today I'm gonna to commence the craziest Coleman cooler comparison test. Now I got this $20 cheap Coleman cooler, the Marine Inland Performance Series, the 48 quart. And what I'm gonna be doing is testing this to see if putting spray foam in the lid of this cooler keeps ice longer. Now I've seen a lot of people do this on YouTube. They do a great job of showing you how to put spray foam in here, how to seal it up. They do a great job, but they don't really show you the results of doing this. They say, yeah, it works, yeah, it doesn't. What I'm going to be doing is proving it to you guys whether it works or not by testing it so you guys don't have to grab your uh, igloo cooler, your Coleman cooler, whatever you got, and just because you saw some guy on YouTube do it, tear up your lid of your cooler and not be happy with the results. So I'm going to be doing the first test with the stock cooler, the 10 pound bag of ice, and seeing how long that ice lasts. That's my baseline test. Once I'm done with that, I'll be showing you guys, just like the other videos, how to put spray foam in here, how to seal it up, how, what I did and seeing if there's a difference. I got a lot of ice coming your way guys and a lot of time put into this. It's only gonna cost you about 10, 15 bucks to do it on top of the price of the cooler. I'm excited guys, let's start the video. All right, got my six bottles of water, 10 pound bag of ice and my stock Coleman cooler. I'm gonna be seeing how long these water bottles stay afloat on top of the ice. Once it's just a puddle of water and there's not a whole lot of ice left, the test is done. I'm gonna be keeping this cooler inside my garage with the lid closed obviously and I think that's gonna give it the best chance possible to see how long this ice will last. I'm also gonna be showing you guys every now and again uh, how well the ice is doing. So I'm excited guys, let's start the test. All right guys, so it's been 15 hours since I last checked on this ice, let's open it up. And look at that guys, it's just a puddle of water. So I can grab a handful of ice here. I mean, yeah, there's still ice in here, but and granted, it would be different if I added like two 10 pound bags or three 10 pound bags of ice. But this was just a quick test of the insulation to see how it does. Like I said, it hasn't been opened in 15 hours. So the insulation in this thing isn't all that great. I'll come back uh, at the 24 hour mark to see how this ice is doing again, but it's not looking too promising guys. I'm really curious to see how the expanding foam is gonna work. Uh, maybe I'll get some more life out of it, out of it you know? Who knows? But yeah, this is not a cooler that would give you three days of ice. There's just no way. It's already a, a puddle of water. So let's move on guys. All right guys, so it's a couple hours later. I told you I was gonna wait till the 24 hour mark, but I took a peek and guys, there's just nothing left here. I mean, it's mostly water. It's, I think I should call this test done. I don't think it's gonna last a day. So I'm gonna get another bag of ice. I'm gonna put spray foam in this lid and we'll see if it improves. Let's go. All right, so since that first test sucked, I'm gonna be putting spray foam in the roof here. I got four runs here. I'm gonna be putting spray foam in each uh, run, about six or eight holes. I'm gonna be doing one just to show you guys and I'll come back when I'm done. All right guys, so I got some really crappy clothes on, some gloves, and also some safety protection just because if it touches anything, it's not coming off. So I got 14 holes here. I shook this can for about 60 seconds, and I'm gonna be filling each one. Let's see how it goes. I never really used spray foam before. All right. So this is what it looks like after setting up for about a day. You can see the foam has kind of gone crazy, so it actually worked. The foam is all throughout this entire lid. I'm excited to see if this improves it at all. I'm going to have to get creative once I remove all these balls of foam. I'm either going to put like screws in the holes or put silk. So this is what the lid looks like once I removed all the foam balls. They came off really easy. I didn't need to use a razor blade or anything to get all that crap off. I just grabbed it one whole ball and just ripped it right off. So I decided to go silicone with this project. I think it was the best option. It was only a $5 tube at the hardware store. It's water resistant and mold resistant. So this is perfect for this project. So before I applied the silicone, I went back and put more expanding foam in some of the holes because it didn't expand the first go around. So this lid has one full can of expanding foam. I'm pretty surprised, honestly, that it accepted that much. So we're gonna put this back on the cooler. We're gonna get another 10 pound bag of ice and see if it improves any. Let's do it. So it's been about 15 hours since I looked at this ice. Let's take a peek. 
And look at this guys. So there is bigger chunks in this ice. And I would dare to say there is more ice than the last test, but not a totally significant amount. You know, there's still water at the bottom. It did work, putting spray foam in the lid did work. I can tell a little bit of a difference, but not a huge raging game changer uh, difference. So I'm gonna come back at the 24 hour mark and check on this ice, but I just want to give you an update. All right, so it's been about 22 hours that this ice has been in this chest. I told you I'd come back at the one day mark, but there's just not a whole lot of life left in this ice. So to take a peek, you can see that there is still a few ice cubes floating around, but I'm gonna call this test pretty much done. Yeah, it would last two more hours to get to one day, but I'm gonna call the test done. So what I concluded from this test, guys, is putting spray foam in the lid will help you. It will get you a little bit longer life out of your ice, but it's not gonna get you to three days where you can take this for a weekend and the ice will still last, guys. It's just not the case. There's no amount of spray foam that you could put in this lid that'll get you to that performance. The walls on this cheap cooler are so thin, it's just not happening. So what you could do if you wanted to go a step further, I've seen a guy put this whole cooler in like a storage bin and put spray foam in between the walls. And that does work, it did, it did help them. But to, for me, it's not worth it to buy $50 worth of spray foam, buy a $20 cooler. You might as well just go to Walmart and get a nice igloo cooler that's on sale and not go through all the hassle, guys. So. This did work. I'm going to say it did work. It did help, but it's up to you guys what you want to do with your coolers. So guys, I hope this video is helpful. Hit that like button if you like this video. If you have any questions at all about this test, go in the comments below and I'll answer them the best I can. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, guys, consider subscribing. I did this test for you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.